Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Scorpio. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Scorpio, I'm doing your reading with a giant stack of blended decks. You'll see a mix of several decks in your spread today. So we've got Make a Wish on the split, which is bringing in the Libra reading right away. And then the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this is really bringing in the Libra reading. The Libra reading was all he was talking about, um, like a wish coming in really powerfully. And uh, you just have to watch that reading. It was talking about the chariot and the horse and the horsepower and the empowerment. It's like everything was happening because of Libra stepping into their power was kind of supercharging a wish or a dream that they had 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 a while ago and now it was all coming into being really powerfully really quickly because of all of that right so that i want to say is tying into your reading now too and it's feeling like this is now becoming a collective theme that wishes are now being experienced So there's definitely an interesting story unfolding in your reading here today. Um, at least an aspect of it, I would say, is something that you've been wanting for yourself. Another aspect of it seems to be a complete surprise to you. It's like something revealing itself that you didn't anticipate or didn't see coming or didn't know was there. It's kind of got this like secret admirer type vibe about it. Okay, overall energy from the Lifruma for Scorpio. So you've got the, <laughs> sorry, this is just, there's so much meaning in this card. You got the Cosmic H card, right? Which again ties into the Libra because it's almost like that, um, that drawbridge that was being, okay, so it says weathering. I'm totally distracted. I'm not even looking, I'm not even looking at what the, And then the God mouth card, which was upside down. So that's fascinating. You've got the cosmic H. Okay, okay, what is this talking about? I guess it wants to talk about being a bridge at this point. It's like there's this cosmic bridge that is being that is being um, activated or opened up, you know, like this draw bridge that is opening, and it's like this God mouth energy, which is is means that like so much more creational energy is building in is what it feels like because it's like everybody is supercharged what's interesting actually is i'm talking about that because there's this image here in your reading i'm not even sure how to talk about it but it's bringing me back to um an experience i had in one of my ayahuasca ceremonies and it's showing up here in your reading so okay let's just get into it so we're starting with the two of earth and the patience or temperance card. Um, so the two of earth is talking about, I wanna say that you've been working diligently starting with nothing. It's like you've, you've built your life up from scratch or you've built a business from scratch. This two of earth is not present. Like it's not the present moment. I wanna say that you're more in this temperance energy where it's saying, it's almost as if you've taken things as far as you possibly can and you're not sure where else to take it, right? So you're in this patience energy here now going, okay, fascinating. Again, the Libra reading, it's like the beginning of the Libra reading where they were setting up their space. And once it was all kind of to their liking, then they could sit in a leisurely moment and consider what is next. It's kind of got that same vibe to it. But for you, there's this fascinating new addition with this card here. If you notice the pentacles in her hand, there's this face in the background that is like this angel that I, or the divine, right? In the background, kind of guiding each step. And that was in the Libra reading as well. So this seems to be a continuation of, of the Libra reading. Sorry, monsters passing through. Okay, so there's something about that. There's been this energy, this guiding force, this, this guide or this presence in the background since the beginning connected to you since the beginning. So this is the fascinating thing. It could be that it's been there guiding and helping and assisting, but it could just be talking about the fact that it's been in the background since the beginning, since the beginning of whatever it is that you've now seem to have completed and are, and are in this restful place thinking, 
what do what do I do next or how to it seems complete I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure what to do with it where to go with this or what to do next right but the wheel of fortune and the wallflower card is coming up next and this is where it got kind of profound and um, started spilling into like things that I've seen in my ayahuasca ceremony if you if you watch that video I put out about my ceremonies there's been a few times now in my ceremonies where it's like the walls of reality open up and I get to see kind of the mechanics behind the scenes and all of the beings behind the scenes and how things work and everybody's role in kind of creating reality from behind the scenes, right? That's what this was talking to me about, this kind of wheel of fortune moment with the wallflower card. It's, I mean, maybe it's because you've reached this temperance, this patience card where it's like all of your work is complete. Because of that, it's like this wheel of fortune is being activated and this wallflower is being exposed in a sense. So this is, it kind of, okay, it kind of is going in two ways. It looks to me like the consciousness or the guides that have been kind of out of you, maybe in your periphery, helping you with each step along your path are now kind of revealing themselves because it's the wallflower. There's something about, I don't know what it is. There's something about the wallflower, the wall, the wheel of fortune, these, these beings kind of coming together here that was looking like that to me in my ceremonies it was like this like this is what would be like the wall in the room and suddenly it would it would turn and open up and I could see beyond it and that's what I'm seeing with these cards here maybe that's what the wheel of fortune is talking about it's talking about this turning is making the wall kind of open up and disappear and you can see beyond it but it's also talking about seeing behind the scenes that there's been something out of you that is now coming into view especially with the seven of fire coming next because this is my return of magic card it's saying that there's this kind of magical element or magical experience spilling into your reality almost like from the other side but at the same time it could just be this really like straightforward kind of secret admirer vibe right so it's got these two levels to it it's talking about almost like spirit revealing itself to you or you becoming aware of this kind of spiritual backing that you've had through this whole process that is now kind of crescendoed into this next level where it's kind of stepping forward and making itself known right it's like up until now it's been quiet it's not made as present its presence known but it's beginning to spill forward it's beginning to show itself but then it's got this other level of kind of like secret admirer that somebody has been kind of aware of your process perhaps for some time, but they've kind of been in the background and staying quiet. They're this wallflower energy, right? But because for whatever reason, the wheel of fortune coming up here, there's something about what it is that you have accomplished or the place that you have reached that is triggering this wheel of fortune that is, is affecting this one that has been kind of in in the background to step forward. It's almost as if the universe is kind of exposing them somehow. So with the seven of fire and the page of cups coming up next, and this is interesting because this was in Libra too. This was in the Libra extended, the page of cups talking about um, this series of events or this experience unfolding for you, especially because it was not at all anticipated by you, right? It's like it's completely blocked out of your awareness until it emerges with this with this uh, seven of fire, with the magic entering your consciousness or entering your space. It's triggering you having this kind of um, new emotional experience. It's like you're experiencing something that you haven't experienced before and or... <laughs> That could be kind of on the spiritual level, right? If you're like having a more profound interaction with the spirit world or with your guides specifically, or with like the mechanics of the universe somehow being made known to you, that can absolutely be triggering this kind of emotional awakening or like triggering a new 
um, experience of emotion for you, but it could also be, like I said, on this kind of secret admirer level, that this is where the where you receive the first kind of connection, the first communication, the first text, the first call from this individual. This is where it begins coming in for you because the flirty heart is coming up next. So this, I want to say this and the siren song is the big reason why it's got this kind of secret admirer vibe to it, right? It's like, it's like somebody finds you very alluring. And the interesting thing is with the 10 of earth at the center, it's like this flirty heart, 10 of earth and siren song that it could be related to your work. It's like there's somebody connected to you through work, for example, or maybe even like a neighbor or something, because it's like, here you are. And it's, I don't want, to, I don't want it to be creepy, but it's like, here you are in your everyday life and their energy is all around you right? Or at least that's how it's going to be now that they have decided to step forward and communicate with you. It's like it's, it's coming in really big, right? Their energy is very big and it's kind of taking over your ordinary reality. So it's basically something like, if this is this is an individual approaching you, it's like they've been kind of debating how to do that for some time. And I'm really actually intrigued by this kind of flirty and siren song energy. It's almost like maybe that's the reason why they've held back for so long is because they know, perhaps they know that you are incredibly intuitive. And so you're going to know the extent of or the depth or the complexity of their desire or their energy or their emotion when they're around you whether or not they say it right it's like they know that you're incredibly intuitive and so it's almost as if they've been kind of trying to hold back or mask their emotions or their expression because they know once it touches your consciousness you're going to know the full story, whether or not they express it or reveal it. So that, so that could be part of it. It's like there's a lot of, of like precaution here on their part, not yours. I'm not getting any sort of like creepy vibe around them at all. It's not like, it's not like they're stalking you or following you or anything like that. So please don't take it in that direction. That is not what I'm saying. I just want to make clear because some people take what I say the wrong way sometimes. And I don't want to have to defend myself. So the six of fire and the three of fire coming up next. This is really interesting to me because, I mean, it's like right beneath the wheel of fortune. It feels like a whole lot is happening for you all at once. Because you've reached this place with the patience and the wheel of fortune where because, because you've completed all of the steps, like beginning here with starting from scratch, you've now kind of reached the end of that path. Therefore, this next thing is beginning to unfold or reveal itself to you. So a lot is happening because you've accomplished something, I want to say, right? And it could be that you've just accomplished profound balance with the temperance card, right? You've perfected balance. For example, everything in your life is set, it's balanced, it's secure, but there's a lot happening all at once because this six of wands and the three of wands is actually not about this individual stepping forward or this guide being more clearly perceived or more profoundly perceived or more, more profoundly part of your actual kind of like everyday experience. That could be what this is talking about too. It's like your everyday life. Now that this kind of, magic has entered the scene it's like it's um it's just got a, a more passionate or more charged energy surrounding it what, what once was what once was really just kind of ordinary and mundane is now just really kind of i don't know the right word to put on it i want to say saturated okay so 
um, what was I saying? I lost my thought. Basically, this is a, like a, another aspect that is happening simultaneously. It's like things are happening all at once. You've got this kind of secret admirer, in a sense, being revealed or um, secret guide stepping forward, for example, but you're also stepping into this incredibly successful phase. That's what this is talking about to me. It's like because you've reached the, 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 uh, you've reached the top of the ladder, you've reached the top of your career, you've accomplished something profound. Therefore, it's like this, this path is unfolding for you with the three of fire because you're empowered, because you've reached this place of empowerment. That could be what this patience card is talking about. It's, it's been like a long journey to get there, but you're finally at a place where it's almost like if you're feeling peaceful, because you've done everything that you can do, it's not a resigning yourself because you've done everything you can do. It's like, I've, I've really put my all in, I've really done everything within my ability. And so I am at peace. So there's like this similar message to the Libra where it's like, because you're feeling empowered, success is happening or success is happening. And therefore you're feeling empowered. So it's like you're attaining, you're, you're reaching a goal that you've set for yourself a long time ago, which is really interesting because, because this wish is something separate. I want to say something separate. And then the four of cups underneath that talking about it unseen until now, the four of cups is like something that has, that has been possible for you to witness, but you haven't yet. You haven't yet. Okay, anyway, um, I'm losing, I'm getting really distracted. It feels to me like you've been working diligently away with these two of earth, 10 of earth, like all this kind of pentacle energy, working diligently at accomplishing a goal, reaching that goal, having success in that area um, is happening simultaneous to you kind of experience like experiencing like a wish fulfillment because the nine of fire is coming up next and this card talks about um something from a dream arriving in the 3d reality right it's like crossing dimensions so it's almost as if there's something like that this accompl becoming successful like in your career is in a sense realizing a dream that you've had which is bringing something from a dream into reality but it seems to be somehow connected to this secret admirer energy i don't know what else to call it but it's like there's been this um this consciousness in the background like i said is either helping you or is admiring you and it's now stepping forward because of the accomplishment because because realizing this dream or pulling this thing into reality is somehow connected to them. And so pulling them in, pulling that dream in is then pulling them in is kind of how it's feeling to me. Um, but with the seven of earth at the end of the reading here, this is interesting because it's basically like you could be thinking or feeling that it's like wrong timing in the sense of you've just kind of reached your stride and become really successful or, or um, achieved the position that you've been aiming for for all of this time. It's like it's finally happening. And simultaneously, suddenly you have all of this here where it's like somebody is wanting your attention or wanting to give you a lot, like shower you with attention. And it's like it's it's wrong timing for you perhaps because you're feeling like all of your energy or focus is going into this experience here. It's like your career is at its peak. You don't really have time you feel right now for a new relationship or a new being to come into your life. Yet here it is, right? Happening simultaneously. But with the seven of earth at the end of the reading here, it was kind of talking about somehow blending it all together. It's like, now that you've achieved this goal, this one has arrived to help you kind of, 
it's like there's an aspect to it that needs to be um, integrated. Integrating this dream or this success into your life is in a pro is a process in a sense. Just like in the Libra extended, it was like coming into like extraordinary wealth and figuring out how to manage that wealth. It's like realizing, having to figure out how to kind of work with or integrate the realization that everything that you've wished for is here and therefore things are taking off, right? With the chariot, with the chariot, things are taking off in a really big way. And it's like, you need to, you need to kind of integrate the experience. And it's like, this one is here to help you with that. So it's like, even though they're showing up maybe in this romantic way, perhaps, but maybe not, maybe more just in this helper kind of position where it's like, they're here to help you integrate it somehow. It's like they're, I don't know, It's it sounds bizarre, but it's almost as if you have a partner arriving right at the moment of peak success. You're the one who's accomplished it all. You're the one who's worked towards all of this and achieved it. And now that you're here, it's like there's someone that's standing at your side, but it doesn't feel like they're riding your coattails at all. It feels like they're here in perfect time. Maybe it was destined or important or significant that you kind of reach this accomplishment yourself, that you achieve it yourself so that you can be like, I did this. I did this. This is my creation. This is my achievement. I claim this and I own this because that's important that it's yours, that it's yours and that you know that and that everybody knows that and you feel that. And then this one comes in to join you or partner with you in order to kind of integrate that into your life or to enjoy that, enjoy that experience, to work it into your life, to, to have it be part of your experience. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I hope that made sense. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. And if not, I will see you next time, Scorpio. Thanks, bye.